Hello everyone, Nazanogami here. Welcome back to Let's Play Anima Mundi Dark Alchemist. We last left uh, off. We gave up all our crowns to get Anima Mundi. We were... I guess it gave us the power to go back in time and change our fate. And basically we lived a pretty happy life with Mikhail. Like none of the bad stuff had ever happened. We got a crown for that. But that was all in more likelihood, the canon ending. But just because I got the canon ending doesn't mean that the playthrough stops here. No, I am determined to get every ending. And they say we give up all our items, but not actually, and I'm thankful for that, because... Ugh. Seriously, look at all these items. Anyway, currently we are... On the route to Sylvie's ending. And gonna uh, present like the first different choice. This is the nightmare begins. This moment. Like Yark sees Bruno. He conks out and he's about to see Mephistopheles. Gonna pick uh, one different choice t this time. Awesome. Okay, this is the same. Mephistoph Lee's is taking Lil the way. We're gonna watch her disappear. Yorick watched silently as Mephistopheles carried Lil the way. He's, I think he's pretty much expecting us to uh, take Lilith. それが運命だったというのか。ただ教えてほしい。なぜリリスを迎えに来た。天使ではなく、お前のような悪魔なのか。ああ、それを知らぬとは。いっそ知らないままでいた方が良いかもしれない。いや、僕が言うとは言う like like what, 10, 12 more chapters later? ナンジは我が期待通りの男ではなかったのです。この俺に何を期待していた。無論契約だ。ナンジが生きている間は我がナンジの言うことを聞く。この娘をよみがえらせることもできる。その he just said earlier he doesn't want anything to do with your pact. ひまこの時我に懇願しておけばよかったと後悔することになるかもしれぬぞすぐに分かることになるだろうが今お前の傍らに倒れている娘はすでに人間の体ではない。おお、ボーイ。calling it out right there。Devil's voice gradually faded away and he melted into the shadows. Gork was plunged once again into darkness. And we are back to uh, Shining Elixir, where we're about to make Aqua Vitae when Son German <laughs> decides to bust on in. So, what are we doing? We're gonna fast up and say it's an alchemy experiment. <laughs> Even he's surprised that we just said it outright. Huh? No. Yes! 
キゲオリク。お金に困っているんなら、言ってくれればよかったのに。友達じゃないですか、僕たちは。は何のこと Yeah, what are you talking about? 知ってますよ。お金を作るんですね。Oh yeah, the gold bit. <笑>あ。Well, he's still kind of on board with this. さあさあ僕も偽金誕生の瞬間を拝みたいです偽金じゃない That was an amusing little bit Sandra Mine in denial Timothy cracking up But I believe that's it for the new dialogue here Moving on Okay, our next choice This is right here in the Oriental Curio Shop. Um, admittedly, uh, there were different choices to be made already, like, uh, like in the chapter of the Great Paracelsus, you gotta fail the, the chalice puzzle for some reason or another. And then in this chapter, you gotta decline to, uh, channel spirits, but, uh, there wasn't dialogue, uh, worth posting. That's right. Today is not the end of the day. I'm going to be a bit of a bit of a bit. We're gonna let Sanjuman be on his own this time. Yeah, you be careful. There's a ripper on the loose. Oh! Never mind what I said. お前くらいになると。見た目女性と大して変わらないからなや,やだなギョリクってばサンジャマン then hailed a passing carriage ギョリク returned to his mansion alone after that um that's being redundant right there okay so it wasn't worth mentioning much either but Pretty sure the next major change,、uh, the next major decision will be worth seeing, so see you right then. Fast forwarding to the chapter Confession. De deciding on、uh, should we move Lilith or keep her where she is. So, so many times in the past we've just kept her where she is, cause,、uh, well, we don't want to damage the trust in our friends、uh, even more, but. <laughs> 観念してサンジェルマンに全てを話してしまうこともできるだろういずれにしろ決断するのは今しかない We're hiding her elsewhere See how this plays out York decided to move Lilith elsewhere He looked on the first and second floors for a place that would be concealed from the eyes of visitors He found a wooden box hidden in a shadowy closet they thought might be adequate to the task Uh, Lilith is not gonna be happy with that, just put her in a box. Um, hello? Where's the voice? They forgot to voice act this line! Ask your s e n d i n g the seller to get Lilith. Well, too late. Dotsira sama de. ジェルマンカッセルですあ、ただいまゲオリク、約束ですよリリクソ、遅かったかいや、yeah. Okay, so that doesn't make much of a change anyways サンジェルマンミハイルも一緒か Too late Well, that didn't account for much for anything anyways Well, damn. So, 
Actually, I actually forgot about this part, but after you complete Mikhail's first ending, you actually get an extra scene and the Founding Day Festival begins. Uh, just to catch up, uh, this is, uh, Sanjumon versus Genai! When it comes to in inventions. And it just abruptly cuts to there. His laugh is kind of cute. I mean, when he's normal, anyways. As he said goodbye, Sanjama grinned coyly. Captain's work is never done. As Mikhail disappeared with the knights in the crowd, Sanjama invited Georg back to his house. Oh? Well, sure. As always, Sanjamon's private room was cluttered with documents, machine parts, and books. Sanjamon pointed to a small blimp like machine he had cobbled together in the corner of his room. You made a blimp! Oh? A blimp called Little Love, with room for two. I like where this is going. Sanjuron opened up a small hatch. After laying York in, he got in himself. Despite primitive propeller, Sanjuron's contraption, Little Love, moves steadily forward. Well, holy carp! You actually made a blimp! It just now dawned on me. You made a blimp! Oh, wow! I can't see too much of it, but... You think you made the next Miyazaki's flying machine, Sanjermont? Since you were six? Yorick thought back on Sanjermont as a child, and the name of the airplane made from a caramel box that he carried everywhere. In the back of his mind, Yort recalled the tired, pathetic little love from his childhood. So what number is this? Well, that's a gigantic leap. Go from a caramel box to, uh... An actual... The actual thing. How many times have you crashed this thing? As Sanjuron babbled, they floated higher, out over the city. I guess Georg does not like flying. Which is... feels kind of ironic since... well... since Lucifer can find... fly just fine. However, despite Georg's worries, the little love held its altitude, floating high over the Founding Day Festival Parade. This is gonna win the Inventors' Competition for sure. They heard the encouraging screams of young women on the ground. 
レディーたちがあんなにギャリ君よし思い切って広場に着地してみましょうかおいおい調子に乗りすぎうわあ、uh -oh. A muffled sound was coming from the blimp which suddenly jolted as the engine's drone died away and the little love began to plummet toward the ground リリスト大丈夫ですかゲオリクさん Do we look alright, m e p h i s o p o l i s We're about to crash and burn and die ああ、よりによってお前に助けを呼ぶのもまぬけな気がしたな Suddenly the blimp was lifted into the air, supported by the arms of Mephistopheles as it dropped gently to the ground. Two climbed out of the blimp to the surprise cheers of the surrounding people. While no one but Yorick could see Mephistopheles, the crowd cheered as the devil touched down in the city central square. Mare de Kyodaina Kuromisa o mite iri yodana. Kimi ga wari to yu ka, nan to yu ka. Oh, don't say that. Ta. Ta skari mashita ne. なぜか知りませんけど無事でよかったバカ野郎ギョリックスフィスケーキダウンサンジョリクなんだかレディーたちが僕たちの方へ押し寄せてくるのが見えるんですけど However, all the women f l o c k e d to ギョリック tugging on his shirt sleeves children surrounded サンジョマンサンジョマンサンジョマンサンジョマンサンジョマンサ There were only two participants in the 11th annual inventors competition. And s a n j a m a n was awarded the grand prize, while Gennai was awarded an honorable mention. Geori, look at that! It's a free food for one year. What an adventure that was! <sighs> Another enjoyable event with s a n j a m a n This is a soup of life. Right after、uh, Gyorik leaves, turning in his,、uh, his two months' notice. That night, even after Gyorik left, Bruno stayed in the laboratory. As he finished up the day's records at the laboratory desk, he gazed out the window at the night sky. Gyorik Zabelisk. Marde, Kono yo no sbete ga anata ni mikata shite iru yo da. Not really! So, then, I'll be so. Anata, I'll be so. I'll be so. I'll be so. Bruno poured a large slug of cognac into his chilled champagne and drank it down. Ugh, cognac and champagne, uh. Huh. Nemure night, you know, I'm not going to be so. I'm not going to be so. あまり効き目がなくなってきましたね。Can't sleep, huh? May I recommend chloroform? 人生これから無期限に続くというのに、これでは思いやられる。Bruno rolled back the carpet and revealed the magic square painted beneath. 悪魔メフィストよ。地獄から来たものよ。この印のもとに。Isn't that the, the ceiling mark from experiments under the castle? Bruno's words disappeared into the silence. Yeah, Harry, no. No, that is. Mephistopheles wants nothing to do with you. Kanzen ni anata no kigen o sokonete shimata. Watashi no itoshi kata. Watashi ni sbete o ataite. So ste sbete o home te kudasar kata. あなたの求めるゲオリク・ザベリスクの魂とやらむしろあのゲオリク・ザベリスクの魂にそれほど価値があるというのなら私があなたより先にあの男を手に入れましょう<笑> you would have to take his soul first which I got wonder how you plan on doing that あなたと私では方法が違うかもしれませんが私にはあの男を操るための地位や材料がこれほどに揃っているのですそしてメフィスト今度はあなたの方を悔しがらせてあげましょうブロー took a vial containing York's blood from a refrigerated shelf in the back room in the laboratory 不気味な渦を巻いて
相変わらず謎の多い男だこんな血の流れる男が人間であるはずがない私が過去に採取した下級悪魔や怪物の血 You hunted demons and monsters! そう人間の血液よりむしろそういうものに近いはずだ Granted that Bruno is、uh, immortal I gotta wonder how long has he been immortal Bruno sucked a few drops of his blood into a syringe dropped them onto his tongue Ew Vampire much? No, more like he has a blood fetish, I think. And here we are, finally, with a new chapter taking place right after the one who punishes. Shinsei Hardland, the Joe. Sen So Tomo.内乱ともつかぬ騒ぎがカーマゼン全体へと被害を及ぼしていたシルヒはマリーンと共に城の地下通路をひたすら南へと進んでいた We finally get to see what happens with these two. 地下通路の天井や壁はいつ崩れるかわからないが今は地上の方がはるかに危険でありギリギリの状態での選択だった姫こちらへ If they can make their way through the long tunnel that joined up with the one under the castle they would be able to escape from Kamazen Just then the ceiling began to crumble マリー危ない There were cracks appearing above Marin's head 姫お逃げくださいダメよこれで大丈夫さあ早く Ah,、uh, Sandra Mont, you're here too! Marion looked at him in astonishment. Sandra Mont? What happened? I'm not sure if I was in the same place, but I'm not sure if I was in the same place. You invented the tracker too! I'm not sure if I was in the same place. I'm not sure if I was in the same place. They ran desperately south, but soon met a wall. Now, wait a minute. If they got a tracker on Sylvie, then they would have been able to notice whenever she left the castle when, when doing her,、uh, her heroic feats as Amaryllis. Well, quote unquote heroic. You have war planes too! それに乗って戦うのいいえそんなものを使ったら星が一つ吹っ飛びますイーシュ !Did you invent the atomic bomb too? さあ着きましたよ As Dr. Watt entered the 20 digit code with practice fingers the doors of the hangar opened <笑> Sylvie gulped さあ入ってくださいここならめったなことでは崩れませんから That looks way too high tech for this time period. When everyone was inside, s a n j e r m a n turned the lock. s a n j e r m a n w e n o w a t o s t a n o Well, those more, look more like meteorites than bombs, but hey, maybe they have bombs inside them. b o k u n o a k a r u h a i n d e s g a b u r u n o a s i n i m a s h t a Oh, thank God! s h i k a n i 大量の殺人兵器を残してです。現在の残り数は約8万体程度。すでに2万体の先発隊がエーデルに向かいました。姫、国王なき今、僕はあなたの決断に従います。Where are your orders, my queen? 軍は軍で勝手に動くものですが、僕はあなたの意志を尊重したい僕はここに残された全ての兵器をいかようにも操作できますもちろん僕が勝手なことをすれば軍法会議で処分されてしまいますでも
それが国王の命令だった時は例外なのですシルフィー様シルフィー様は正当な王位継承者のはずシルフィー様のご意思を私もお聞きしたいと思いますマリンゲイズ・エッセルフィーわかりました許されていると言っても紙一枚の取り決めですし危ういものでしょうが私はまず内乱を沈静化させたい内乱を沈めながら一刻も早く和平を成立させたい OK question is how to do that チェイン・クルセイダーを使って内乱を一気に沈静化できるといいのですがサンジャマン・ロー・デス・ハイブ・レフリー残念ながら彼らは完全大量殺戮を目的に作られているのです街に出れば秩序を取り戻すどころか無差別な殺人を始めるでしょうそれがブルーノの残したもの私たちの足につけられた重たい鎖ですそうねサンチェルマン少し考えさせて。Suppressing her fear, Sylvie dropped her eyes. They just now noticed that ship also had a giant Gatling gun. It's like so out there. Leaving the aircraft hangar, Sylvie returned to the underground passageway. There were not only the ones who knew about it, many, of, many officials, aristocrats, and clerics had fled there to escape the chaos of war. I think that was supposed to say they were, not there were. Mataleo. Ah! Just that man wearing a slightly dirty robe called out to Sylvie. Not part of the Inquisition, are you? Sylvie, Sama! Marion tried to block the man, but Sylvie answered as if puzzled. Nani Kashira? Sensing a rigid defiance in him, she let him speak. Nanji, Shiba Shi no Aida. Us? <laughs> Sylvie answered carefully. Marion tried to pull Sylvie away, but the man continued. This is... This is just like the questions Mephistopheles brought to us in the very first chapter. I think this is the exact same first question. Nanji wa onore no inochi o sasageru koto ga dekiru ka? Hai. These aren't the members of the Inquisition. They're just using recycled sprites. Yokaro. Shinko shin to kokoro no junbi no aru mono ni 天の声は聞こえる。それが光のものであれ、闇のものであれ。よかろう。それでは。戦争が始まり、何時は次のいずれかの軍に参加せねばならない。These are the same questions, except from this man that said Mephistopheles. 一方は、敗北と自身の死が予想されるが、誇りを守るための戦い。もう一方は、勝利と報奨が予想されるが、誇りを偽った戦い。何時はいずれの道を選ぶ。たとえ、負けるのだとしても。誇りのために戦うでしょうよかろう誇りのために戦うのは当然のこと
I have a feeling this roadman might actually be an angel. I mean, to contrast, you know, the devil visiting Yorick. The man looked into Sylvie's eyes for a moment and made as if to leave. And Sylvie realized she was holding a rosary. Ah, no more questions then? Sylvie tried desperately to call him back. But though they searched the area, the man was gone. Sylvie asked the priest whether he had seen a man in a robe anywhere nearby, but... Pretty sure he was an angel. Sylvie and Marine slept in the underground shelter that night. It pained Sylvie's heart to see the plight of the wounded taking refuge. But the man in the black robe was nowhere to be seen among them. That night, as Sylvie tried to sleep, an ancient figure stood by her bed. You again! And she is actually not afraid of a strange figure standing by her bedside. Well, minus the bed, but... あの can't even see his eyes. Sylvie handed the rosary to him. The old man asked with a serene expression. You are too kind, Sylvie. それに、これは全て銀製ね。装飾も全て本物の宝石。装飾も凝っているし、きっと思い出の品なんでしょ。At that, the old man smiled and nodded. 姫様はとても誠実な方だ。それに信念も持っていらっしゃる。I guess it's like another test. Yep, I do it! ただし、兵士も武装もなしで行くのです。え姫は和平をお望みなのでしょうこの私がガミジンどのをお連れしましょう。そ、そんなことができるのですかそ、This is like one of those, uh, one of those acts of God in the making. 信じる信じないは姫の自由です。そのロザリオがきっと姫に味方してくれるでしょう。そ、そんなこと突然言われても。さらにオーマンバンシンのバーストオブライト。信じる信じないは姫の自由ですよ。とにかく私は反対です。but the man was an angel, Marin! Next day, Marin vented her rage. 
なぜ信じられるんですか夢ですよ、夢。寝ている時に見た、ただの夢です。それに、国境は今、非常に危険です。姫様一人行かせるわけには参りません。じゃあ、マリーンが一緒なら、行ってもよいのですか But you're supposed to go alone, Sylvie. <笑>老人は、兵士も武装もなしで行けとおっしゃったわ。次女であるマリーン同伴なら、問題ないはずでしょああ。ナイス。そんな理屈、聞きたくありません。それに、姫様の夢を、どうやって信じろと言うんですか確かに、内乱や戦争で、ハードランドはボロボロです。神や迷信にすがりたい気持ちはわかります。どうしましたそれが姫様のわがままに困っているところなのです姫様そのロザリオを一体どこでええローブの男の人が落としていたもので神父様からも何とか言って差し上げてください姫は昨晩、そのロザリオの持ち主が、夢枕に現れたとおっしゃるんです。Thank you, you would be the wrong person to ask. As for help for, since he's gonna side with God. そんなもの、城内にいくらでも転がっているのに。それに、どことなく汚れて、くすんでいますわ。Dirty and stained, but it's silver and covered in jewels. マリンさん。そんなことを言うものではありませんよ。それに、そのロザリオ。間違いでなければ、おそらく、由緒正しいものだと思います。大事に取っておかれることをお勧めします。そんな、神父様まで、やめてください。神は時折、自分の使いを汚い身なりで、地上へ送ることがあるそうです。何事も、見た目とその本質とは違います。惑わされてはなりません。ありがとうございます、神父様。マリーン、私は、一人で国境へ向かいます。止めても無駄ですよ。マリーン、heaved a huge sigh and smiled at Sylvie with exasperation。止めても無駄なようですね。本当にくだらない迷信なんか信じてしまって。I have a feeling you're gonna be proven wrong. 姫様もまだまだお子様なんですから。目が離せませんわ。マリーンええ。ついていきますとも。姫様のためなら、この命、惜しくはありませんわ。でも、この姿では目立ちすぎる。大丈夫よ、マリーン。だって、私たちは。Sylvie looked at Marion Grimm mischievously. You're Amaryllis after all! <laughs> And so two women appeared on the top of the hill near the border. Amaryllis headed straight to where Gamagin stood. The army parted for her, allowing her to walk up to Gamagin as if they had been waiting for her. Oh, so much for the Amaryllis disguise. Gamagin stretched out his fingers as if to take the lair, but instead grabbed Amaryllis' wrist. Amaryllis! Ruby Mayer tried to spring forward, but the soldiers blocked her way. Amaryllis! 
変装すればうまくいくとでも思ったのかしかし、それで変装しているつもりとは、なかなか笑わせてくれる。Well, it certainly fooled g y a r i c ガミジン、これを見るがいい。アムレルス pulled the rosary from her bosom and held it aloft. The rosary began to shine brilliantly. お願いです。なぜそのロザリオを持っているそのロザリオはシデキアのロザリオかそう目が見えないあーっスペシャルロザリー目が熱い熱い今すぐ兵を引きなさいそうすれば命までは奪えませんシルフィー王女は寛大なお方エーデルン側が攻めたりしない限りこちらからは立ち入ることはないでしょうアムリラス lowered the rosary. The light faded, and g a m i g i n s pain stopped. Ten が味方している以上、ここは引くしかないようだな。今は兵を引こう。だが、覚えておくがいい。人間の寿命は短い。お前の死は、私にとって、まばたきほどの時間でしかない。Yeah, human lives are short, but heaven is forever. And heaven sides with hard land. いいだろう女王シルフィー・ハードランドいやカイトー・アマリリスよガミゲン took the lair from Amaryllis in honor of the peace treaty やはりあのローブの男は神の使いだったのねこんな不思議なことがあるなんて神を感謝しますそれから2週間後シルフィーはハードランドの王位を継承しハードランド初の女王となったわあ、You're looking pretty good Queen Sylvie kind of pulling off the Utena look 長かった美しい金髪を切り落としドレスの代わりに騎士の服装で女王として再出発したシルフィンは国の内外から信頼を集めている戦争の代償は確かに大きかった映画を誇ったハードランド王国は跡形もなく崩れ落ちており今となっては見る影もなかったが国民一人一人の努力によって緩やかではあるが確かな再生の兆しを見せ始めていた。Though I will say, I'm a fan of the new look. お父様、女王、ハードランドの名に恥じないよう、精一杯のことをやるつもりです。どうか、遠くからお見守りください。Well, I guess you're, if you're queen, that means no more a m a r i l l a s マリン、サンジェルマ。未熟な私に力を貸して女王がまた素晴らしい国へと導けば人々も前のように集まってきますわ私はシルフィー様にお仕えできることを誇りに思いますそうですね抱えていた海を出してしまっただけですまた一から築き上げればいいんですよそれにしてもよくあれだけの兵器を闇に葬ることができましたね。Yeah, I think we should just get rid of all those weapons. いまだにその判断が正しかったのかどうかは自信がないのだけれど。兵器といってもシルフィー様のお父様の残したものをすべて葬ってしまって本当によかったのでしょうか。
Oh yeah, and that tower with all the portraits, let's get rid of that too. Or at least get an exorcist. Sylvia? <laughs> Sylvia ran her hand and over her newly shorn head. そうですね。あの二人のことですから、今もまたどこかで剣を交えているかもしれませんね。え、they're ここで待っていますよ。なぜかわからないけれど、あなたたちがそんなに簡単に死ぬわけがないような気がするから。カーマデンの町に再び人々の活気あふれる声や生活音が蘇った。若い者も老人も揃って自分にできることを探し、国の